Hello fellow bookworms and welcome to this week's craft. Today we'll be learning how to make a floating origami fish tank. For this craft you'll need paper, tape, string, and a hanger. But to get started we will learn how to make the three different type of origami fish. So to start off you'll have a piece of paper in which you will fold like this so you can make a perfect square to make your origami fish. And so we will be doing this for every single fish. So you fold it in half, just like this, and then you're going to cut this little flap off so you just have the folded part. And you will cut like this. And so whenever you open up your square, you are just left with this perfect little square and you can even flat out the edges. So now I already did this for the three pieces of paper that we're going to use for this craft. And so you can go ahead and do that or you can do it as you follow along. So for the first fish, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and diagonally, just like we did before. So we will fold it in half and make a really sharp crease. For all these fish, you're going to want to make sharp creases every time you fold. So you do sharp crease, so you open it up and it'll look like this, and then you will fold it diagonally the other way. So then you will fold and crease, and so now you have two X's. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it down hamburger style. So we're gonna fold it down. Let's see, so you're gonna fold it down and then you open back up and then you fold it hamburger style the other way. And so once you're done with all these folds, your square should have a lot of different lines and a lot of different triangles in it. And so now we are going to fold in these two triangles. So I'm gonna draw a line on the two lines you're going to be folding on. So these are the lines that you will be folding. And so to fold, I will take this line and I will fold it down to meet this line. So I'll draw that line too. So to do this, you will take these two lines and you will fold them down to meet this one. So I'll do this side first. So you'll take it and you'll fold right on that line. And you do the same thing for the other side. You'll bring it down and you'll fold till you'll be left with this, and then you're going to fold down the rest of it. So you're left with something just like this. And so you took the big piece of paper, I'll unfold this to show you. So you took the big piece of paper and then you folded it into itself to create two triangles and so now we have this one triangle full in the back and you have these little flaps and so we're going to take this on one of the flaps and we're going to fold it over ever so slightly and then give it a nice crease we'll do the same thing to the other side so so the same side that has the first flap and we'll just fold it over and then this will be the last part to our fish. So once we have these two sides fold over, we flip it over and boom, we have a cute little fish. And then you can draw eyes on it. You can decorate it, draw some gills. But that will be the completion of our first fish. All right, so now we'll move on to our second fish. So for this one, you will lightly fold the edges. So this is the only one that you will fold lightly on just for this first part. So you will fold it hamburger style and then you will lightly press the edges. Just enough to make a little crease. So you will lightly press the edges. Just like that. And then you will fold it again the other way and you will do the same thing. Where you will lightly fold the edges. We're left with just four creases on each side. And now we're going to fold in the side 
to that crease. So we have creases here, 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 and here. And we're going to fold the paper into a fourth into those creases. So we'll start on the first sides. And these you will be doing sharp folds. So see, I'm folding it in to match this line. And do a sharp fold. Then we'll do the same thing for the bottom. So flip it over and we'll fold it. We'll do a sharp fold. And so you'll be left with this long paper with these two folds. And then you unfold it. And then you'll do the same thing to the other side. And so you will fold the flaps in, flip it over and do the same thing. All right, and then after you have both sides folded, you can pick which side you wanna keep folded, it's up to you. And now you're going to um, fold it in half. You see how it's folded in half? Now we're gonna fold these top folds into itself to create a triangle. So how we're gonna do it is we are going to fold this square here in half. So you have many different squares. So you have this square right here. This square is going to get folded in half. So we're going to take it and we're going to actually fold it on this line. So you see this line that I drew right here? That is the line you're going to be folding on. So you're going to take this and you're going to fold it in and you're going to bring this corner down. So you're going to fold it down and crease. So you're left with this. So you have the square with this line and you folded it down and so it looks like you do the same thing on the other side you're going to fold and crease to your left with this and then you're just going to fold down and you do some hard creases and so you went from this and then you folded it down till you're left with this and then you will peach on the other side so you're just going to take it and you're just going to fold it in And then you will fold on top. And so what you will be left with is this. And so it'll be very, very long. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to take the bottom one or whichever one you want, and then you're going to fold this flap straight down. And give it a nice crease and you do the same on the other side you're going to take the flap you're going to fold it straight down and now what you're going to do is you're going to take this fold and you're going to fold it up to here so you can go from here to here so i'll show you so you go from here to here and you will be left with this and then you're going to take this little flap and fold it back so we'll be left with this and you do the same thing on this side you're going to take this corner you're gonna fold this corner to here. So you go from here to here. You're gonna fold this corner in, and then you're going to move this flap on the other side till you're left with this. So we're almost done with our fish. So now we'll do the last part, fold it back over. You're going to take this corner and you're gonna fold it into here. So we'll take this corner and you'll fold it in half. So it looks like this. And then you do the same thing to the top. You'll take the corner and you'll fold it in. And then you'll be left with this cute little fish. And then you can draw little eyes on it and your gills and whatever other decorations you would like. And then you're left with this cute little fishy. All right, now moving on to our last fish and also our hardest fish to fold we will fold it hamburger style. And for this fish, try to get as many clean, nice creases as you can, since it is a little bit more difficult. Just the better the fold, the better the fish. And so we'll fold it hamburger style both ways. So we'll open it up and we'll have four folds and then we'll fold it diagonally, which I already had. So we'll fold it diagonally. And then this is important for this fish. You open it back up 
and you will flip it over to pull the diagonally the other way. So see how all these are folded into themselves? You're going to flip it over and fold against those folds. So you're going to fold it the other way diagonally. Give it a nice fold. So you will have all sides folded and you'll flip it back over and you'll flip it to the side to where these squares are wanting to try to come in. So you see on this side, you don't really, you don't really have that, but when you flip it over, you see these two squares on either side, they want to come in, so you'll bring them in together, and then you'll fold these flaps down, creating this nice little kind of diamond shape. So we'll give these a nice fold as we fold them in to try to make the lines nice and neat. And then we'll be left with this. And we'll have two sides to it. We'll have the side that is closed on the top and open on the bottom. So make sure you always keep the open on the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold in these little flaps. So we'll keep the top open and we're going to fold them in this way. So let me kind of, before I do a harder crease, we're kind of fold them in like this because they'll be on each side. So we're going to do this on each side. So we'll fold it in like this, right in the middle. So I did the first flab, I folded it in, so I'll leave the room at the top and I folded it down this way. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you give us a nice folded crease. So we'll end up looking like this, and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So we'll fold it with the bottom coming up. So we have room at the top on both sides, the flaps out like this. And then we're going to keep the folded in the back on one side, but we're going to open it up on the other side. And then we're going to pull paper out, still keeping it folded in the back, but you see how like this can be folded while this is out like this. So we're going to cover this out and then we're going to fold in the flaps that we just folded underneath the big one. So I did one side. So see how this is still sticking out with the back still looking like this. And I folded it in up underneath itself. So I still have this other side. So I'm gonna fold that in too. I'm trying to get as much clean, nice lines as you can. So it'll end up looking like this. So we have, now we have this nice flap right here we have we still have these so in like here but this side is smooth because we fold them in underneath now we're flipped over to the same thing on this side so we'll unfold them and then we will fold these flaps underneath so while we do this we should get nice clean lines All right, now, now that we finally got that, so on both sides, it will look like this. So both sides will have two flaps that we can work with. So we'll take one side and one flap, and we will fold it up to the top. So see how it's like this? We're gonna take it down, and then we will fold it up to the top. And then I'll show you in closer what it looks like. All right, so we have this, see the bag is the same, and then we just took the flap and we folded it up to the top. So now we have this little flap, and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So we'll take the flap and we'll fold it up to the top and fold it in. So now we have this, and we have two little flaps that we'll keep tucked in. And now on one side, we'll take this flap and we will fold it in to this corner. So we'll take the flap and we'll fold it into this corner. Let me show you. The flap when we fold it, so this will be the finished result. And then we will unfold it and we will fold it to the other corner. So we will have a crease line on both sides from folding it into this corner. So I'll fold it to the other corner so it looks like this. And now we will unfold it and you're going to crease it in like this. You'll crease it in and then you'll fold it to the side. So I'll show that again. So we folded it to each side to get it a crease. And then we're going to fold it in 
and fold it to one side just like that so let me give it a closer look so this is how it'll look at the end so what we did was we opened it up and we folded it to each side and so we could crease it in the middle and could fold it to the side and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side so on the other side we already have this folded up and we're going to fold it to each corner each time so we'll fold looking like this and then we will unfold it and then we will fold it back to the other side so we have it folded and then we'll unfold it and we'll see this crease and we'll crease it into each other and then we will fold it to the side and we'll fold it the same side we did the other one so whenever we flip it over it'll be on the same side and then we're going to take it and we're going to fold it down so we have it up here and then we're going to fold it down we'll do the same thing the other side so it's here and we'll fold it down and then we'll take the flap so each side will have two flaps and we will fold it from the top into the middle so it'll be from the top into the middle let me show you so it'll be the top into the middle so it'll look like this so we'll have it from the top in like this and we'll do the same thing to the other side and make sure you get these really really nice crease and so this comes a little bit tricky and so we'll have these two flaps folded in and we'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on the other side making sure that this flap is folded down so we'll take it from the top and fold it into the middle so we're left with this and so both sides are folded in now this can be a little bit tricky so as you see we have these folded in and you have these two little triangles at the bottom that we kind of been ignoring and so we're going to have to hold it down and we're going to take one of the, the triangles and we're going to fold it out so this can be a little bit tricky but we're going to fold pull it out and then we're going to create this shape we're kind of folding it in so we're keeping these little flaps that we folded we're keeping this tucked in and then we're just pulling out that side and giving it a nice tuck so this is what it would look like and we're left with one left and so we'll do it again i'll do it nice and slow so because this can be a little bit confusing so we just kind of pulled it out and we're keeping this flap that we folded here in the fold in the back as well and then we're just kind of creasing it so that we are left with these nice folds but with this long sides and then we turn over and we have a cute little fish. And you can do the same things you did to the other ones. You can decorate it, draw on eyes, do whatever you like. And that is our last fish. This one was a little bit more complicated. So if you like, you can rewatch this section just to kind of get it down. But other than that, that is how we do our three fish. Once you feel like you have those three fish down, you can go ahead and make as many as you would like. You can even make them a different size. All the different sides would be is just changing the size of the first initial piece of paper that you have. So like that square you made at the beginning, if you could just cut the square to make it smaller, you can make a smaller fish, you can have a bigger piece of paper and you can have a bigger fish. You can make as many as you'd like and then you take the fish that you made and then you take a hanger, string or yarn, and some tape and you can create this, a floating origami fish tank. And so I took my yarn and I wrapped it around the hanger to kind of, you know, give it some little creative touches and I took three strings and I strung them down and just and I tied them at the top to keep them in place and you can add as many different strings as you would like I just chose three and then I might even add two more to add the fish that I just made and then you'll take some tape and you will tape the fish that you made to the back of this and so each string will be taped to a fish on the front so whenever it's fun you don't even see the tape whenever it turns but you know it's fine and, and you can add as many as you would like have many different little fishes any sizes you would like and this is all up to you however creative you want to get however you want to do this is all up to you and your finished product will look amazing i hope you guys enjoyed today's craft and remember to sign up for our summer reading program if you can and i hope you'll have a nice day and i'll see you all next time bye